In this video, I'm going to show you how to download shaders for the Lunar client. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser. Then all you want to do from here is you want to go to the search bar and look up CurseForge. Then please go to the official curseforge.com website and you want to go ahead and select on Minecraft. And basically, we're going to be downloading some shaders, which we're then going to use on the Lunar client. All right. So once you're over here, please go ahead and select on shaders just like so. And then from here, you want to go ahead and search for some shaders that you would like to install. For this video, let's go ahead and work with the BSL shaders. And what you want to do from here is you want to go to the right and where it says game versions, please go ahead and find the version of Minecraft that you're trying to actually play with. So for this video, I'm going to be working with Minecraft 1.20. So if you're working with a older version of Minecraft, try to find a shader that does work on that version of Minecraft. But anyways, all you want to do is you want to select on these three dots, then go ahead and select on download file. It is now going to begin installing the shaders. And while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to create a unlimited slot 24 seven server for you and all of your friends. What's great about Simple Game Hosting is that they make everything incredibly beginner friendly as they have dozens of video tutorials showing you how to do everything and 24 seven customer service where you're able to ask a Minecraft server expert any question at any point throughout the day. And at the moment, they're currently doing a sale where Everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. So guys, if that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments. All right, guys, that's enough yapping out of me. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate your shader file. Now, depending on your web browser, you may be able to see it on the top right like me. But what you could always do is open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads. But anyways, what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and drag and drop the shader file to your desktop. I recommend that you guys do that. It will basically just make the process significantly easier. And now all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the Lunar client just like so. There you go. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to left menu and you want to select on versions from here. Please go ahead and select on the version of Minecraft that you're working with throughout this video. So again, for this video, we're working with 1.20. So I'm just going to go ahead and select on Lunar 1.20. And here's where things get really important. So over here where it says add-ons, make sure that Optifine is selected. And this is basically going to launch Lunar client with Optifine. So please select on Optifine just like so. Okay, and now what you want to do is you actually want to go to the search bar and you want to type in run just like this. Okay, then go ahead and just press on open right over here and make sure you type in percent symbol app data and then percent symbol one more time, then go ahead and press on okay. Okay, once you're over here, please locate the dot Minecraft folder. So here it is. So go ahead and just click on it. Then all you want to do from here is you want to scroll down until you find the shader packs folder. So here's a shader packs folder right over here. I hope you guys are able to see it. I did highlight it. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and double click on it. And now once you're over here, all you want to do is you want to drag and drop your shader inside of the shader packs folder, just like so. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of the shader packs folder, return back to Lunar client. Then please go ahead and select the launch game and now wait for the game to load in. Okay, now once you're done with that, you're now gonna get Lunar Client, but there are still a few settings that we need to go ahead and adjust. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to go ahead and select on this option that says Lunar Settings, then go ahead and select on Mods right over here. And you wanna turn off 1.7 visuals and also you wanna scroll down and you wanna make sure that lighting is actually disabled in order for shaders to work. So please go ahead and turn the both of those off, then go ahead and press on Exit, then go ahead and load into a Minecraft world like you normally would. All right, so here we are in our Minecraft world. And in order to apply the shader, all you want to do is you want to press on options, then select on video settings, then select on shaders. And you should see the shader that you did install right over here. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on it. And now just wait for Minecraft to reload. So it may take a little while, but trust me, guys, it is going to be worth it. All right, then once it's done with that, go ahead and press on done, then press on done, then press on done, then press on back to game. And as you're able to tell, we do have shaders on the Lunar client. So this is honestly pretty cool if you do ask me and you guys are able to go ahead and have a ton of fun. So guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.